Hey guys, Patrick R with TFB TV, and this week we're gonna take a look at compensators and how that helps you shoot faster. So essentially what a compensator is, is it's a piece of metal that sticks on the end of your barrel or the end of your slide in the case of the Strike Industries comps, and it redirects gases that come out after the bullet has left the bore. So whenever you shoot a bullet, there's gases that are created inside the barrel and those kind of follow it out. And if you look at slow motion photography, you'll see kind of a plume of uh, gas come out just after the bullet has exited the barrel. Well, what this does is it redirects those gases in a useful manner. So it takes those and it, this particular compensator, the KKM two port comp with the uh, match barrel, um, it will direct two jets of gas straight up and then two to the side to kind of help with the muzzle flip as well as the backwards forces. Now, this is supposed to make you faster and bring your gun back down on target a little bit quicker than you normally would. And we'll test it later on today. And I know for a fact that you see a pretty good difference in split times when you're just focusing on that front sight, pulling the trigger as fast as you can. Uh, Cause I've tested it previously with this compensator and it's uh, a pretty good one. Uh, in fact, it's considered to be one of the best. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna run our steel challenge stage uh, which is two 12 inch round targets, two 10 inch round targets and a stop plate in the center. And uh, basically the big rectangle is the stop plate. So we'll do that and see what kind of times we get with three different types of ammo. We're gonna use 115 grain Ventura tactical ammo from Ventura Munitions. We're gonna use atomic ammo and that's not a joke, that's the real company's name. And that's a 124 grain bullet moving at 1300 feet per second. So that is pretty damn fast. Um, and then the last one that we're going to use is going to be 124 grain plus P Federal HST. So we're going to run all three of those through my Glock 19, both with a stock barrel and with the KKM barrel, and see how we compare. So we're not going to change anything else, just the barrel, and uh, we'll start off with the 115 grain Ventura Tactical. We're going to run three different types of ammo. First, I've got 115 grain Ventura Tactical. Then I've got some 124 grain atomic ammo and it is atomic brand ammo it's 1300 feet per second 124 grain bonded projectile and that's a plus p round and then i also have 124 grain plus p federal hst so we're going to run each one of those on our little steel challenge course and uh, we're going to use my shot timer to time it like steel challenge we're going to be drawing from the holster so let's load up and get started huh All right, so I shot that in a 301. All right, so now we're gonna be using the atomic ammo and that's a 124 grain bullet moving at 1300 feet per second. So let's give it a shot. All right, so that was done in 305. So three seconds and five one hundredths of a second. All right, so last up, we have the Federal HST 124 grain plus P. I don't recall the uh, velocity offhand, but I'm sure it's pretty darn fast. So let's give it a shot. Shot the post there. So uh, anyway, I did that in 283. All right, so we're back out here with the KKM barrel and compensator on my Glock 19. So nothing else has changed, just the barrel and the compensator. And we've got 115 grain Ventura tactical ammo loaded back up. So let's give that one more shot. Hey, 248. So a significant difference uh, just with the compensator on practice ammo. So I'm interested to see how much of an improvement it is with that hotter ammo because there are more gases to be vented out of the two ports coming up and the uh, two on the sides to keep that recoil in check. Now it's time for the 124 grain uh, atomic ammo that's moving at 1300 feet per second. And uh, let's get that loaded up and give it a shot. Hey, 247. So again, a definite improvement. All right, so last up is the 124 grain plus P Federal HST. And uh, we'll give that a shot as well. Beep. 
239, wow. Wow, that is significantly faster. All right guys, so that brings us to the end of our video on how to shoot faster with a compensator. Now this is a KKM four port compensator and match barrel, and they run about $300. So it's not anything to sneeze at, but when you do the math, it works out pretty decent. Other compensators run about a hundred bucks, and then a decent threaded barrel is gonna run you about $200. So 300 bucks for the pair is about right. Now we were able to go ahead and shave off about half a second on our little steel challenge setup down there. And uh, that's pretty significant when you're talking about a three second total stage time. What I was most surprised about was how much of a difference it made with the hotter ammo. And we were shaving off near 0.7 seconds in some cases with the uh, carry ammo versus our initial runs, and especially some of the ones we did off camera. So pretty stellar performance out of the KKM barrel. And if you're looking for something that shoots a little bit flatter for the range, or even something to introduce new shooters that are a little bit recoil shy, something like this might be just what you're looking for. Now you can pick them up over at KKM uh, Precision's website. And like I said, there is a bit of a wait and they are about $300. But anyhow, this is our second piece in what we're calling the Roland Special Build. First, we did the Raven Concealment Freya Magwell. The second part was the KKM Four Port Barrel. Third, we're going to be sending our slide off to ATEI to have it cut for an RMR 06. So it's going to receive an, their RMR Pro Cut, enhanced rear serrations, enhanced front serrations, and top serrations as well for the uh, front half. And that's how Roland spec'd it out whenever he was building the gun for his personal carry piece. So once that's done, we'll do a video on how a red dot improves your shooting, and then we'll follow up with what the internals do, and that's like an overwatch precision trigger. I think this is their DAT V2, as well as some other internal adjustments on this guy. Anyhow, if you're looking for a Glock 19 like I've got to turn into your own Roland Special, or if you just want one to carry every day in your purse, briefcase, or car, check out our friends over at Proxy Bid. They pop up really often, and frankly, I've gotten a couple of them for a pretty good deal. We'll see you guys later. Bye.